Derek Cruz with Bulldog Bites TV, bringing you the latest and greatest in the national sports scene. In NFL news, Peyton Manning has announced that this past season was his last and that he will be officially retiring from the NFL after this year's Super Bowl win against the Carolina Panthers. Manning has played 17 total NFL seasons after being drafted first overall by the Indianapolis Colts back in 1998. He spent 13 years with the Colts up until the year 2012 when he joined the Denver Broncos for the last four years of his career. For his career, his QBR rating is 96.5. He has thrown 71,940 total yards and has thrown 539 career touchdowns. Also, Manning has won two Super Bowl rings, one with the Colts in 2007 and one with the Broncos this year in 2016. In NBA news, the Los Angeles Lakers were able to defeat the Golden State Warriors on Sunday, March 6th, with a score of 112 to 95. The Warriors have now lost six road games this year total, and those six account for their six losses total. Despite getting some criticism for losing to the LA Lakers, who are only 13 and 51 as of March 6th, I would not worry about the Warriors because the Warriors are still 26 and 0 at home and have won 44 straight home games at Orco Arena dating back to last season. So there's no place like home for the Golden State Warriors. This is Garrett Cruz with Bulldog Bites TV. See you next time. Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey Peterson with Bulldog Bites TV. And your holiday today is Employee Appreciation Day. As one myself, I can say some days you just want your boss to say good job. Mm -hmm. Your birthdays for last week are Jeffrey Williams. Happy birthday. And for this week, Lauren Miller and Haley Lentz, happy birthday to you as well. Now it's time for your tech bite. Apple laptops are being injected by malware known as the name Ransom. Palo Alto Network, Networkers said they noticed the software on the OS X on March 4th. Apple did not respond immediately to the email that was sent to them from Palo Alto. And Apple is now being held at ransom for one Bitcoin, which is a little over $400. The hackers were also able to infect other versions of the software. This is Jeffrey Peterson with Bulldog Bytes TV signing off. Hi, this is Liz Julius with Bulldog Bytes TV, and this is your entertainment report. Frozen feels a chill as Zootopia tops it as the biggest opening in Disney animation history in the past weekend. Zootopia brought in $73.2 million in the North American box office, racing past Frozen's $67.4 million in 2013. Zootopia, released on March 4, 2016, and starring Jennifer Goodwin and I Iris Elba, is about the city for which the movie is named for, filled with various anim animals living metropolitan lives. The film focuses on Judy Hopps, the first rabbit to join the police force, as she tries to prove herself through solving a mysterious case with Nick Wilde, a fox. The film is being rated remarkably well. It has an impressive 98% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and an 8.3 out of 10 on IMDb. That's nothing to sneeze at, even if it is a movie about a Zootopia. This is Liz Julius of Bulldog Bites TV. Tune in again next week for more of your entertainment news. Hello everybody, this is Javier Jazza with Bulldog Bites TV, presenting you with your presidential election report. The Illinois primaries are coming up, and you might be asking yourself a few questions, like, who should I vote for? Or, who is the most favored candidate by the Catholic community? As a strong Catholic that I am, I cannot find a candidate that actually is pro-Catholic. In today's presidential election report, I will be giving you a guide to candidates that have Catholic views. The Catholic Church has five non-negotiables. It is a mortal sin to vote against the five non-negotiables, which are abortion, euthanasia, embryonic stem cell research, human cloning, and homosexual marriage. The pro-life candidates who have been pro-life for most of their political career are Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, and John Kasich. Marco Rubio would ban abortion after 20 weeks since fertilization. He also would allow abortion on cases of rape, incest, or life of the mother. Ted Cruz would ban abortion completely. John Kasich would ban abortions except in cases of rape, incest, and life of the mother. On the topic of euthanasia, where the Catholic Church's opinion is we should not have assisted suicides, no candidate has taken the stance of the Catholic Church on it publicly. Both Democratic candidates Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders have taken the stance of pro-euthanasia. Ted Cruz 
has written an article against the physician assisted suicide on his Facebook page. John Kasich has voted yes to the Pain Relief Promotion Act of 1999, which would have banned the use of drugs for physician assisted suicide. Marco Rubio voted in favor of Terry's law, giving Governor Jeb Bush the authority to issue a one time stay to prevent the withholding of nutrition and hydration from. The Catholic Church's stance on gay marriage is that we should keep ma marriage between a man and a woman, but remember not to judge. The candidates that are against gay marriage are Ted Cruz, who says he does not want Christian pastors to be forced to do anything that, that their religion is against. Marco Rubio says he is not anti-gay, but he is pro-traditional marriage. John Kasich says he thinks marriage is between a man and a woman, but if gays want to have a civil union, that he would not mind. Donald Trump is against gay marriage, and that's basically all he has to say on the issue. Some other things that the Catholic Church wants you to keep in mind when you are voting is the death penalty, taxation, poverty, health care, religious liberty, immigration, and the environment. The Church's stance on the death penalty is that they should try and not to participate in such acts. The only candidate that opposes the death penalty is Bernie Sanders. All other candidates support the death penalty. The Catholic Church is against flat tax. The Church states it would be based, the tax should be based upon one's ability to, be pay, to pay. The Church states that on the topic of health care, the government should have health care programs. Candidates that are government-run health care are Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. The Church's stance on the environment is we should protect the environment and find out how to prevent global warming, stop fracking, and other things that may hurt the environment. Candidates who are for, for preserving the environment are Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. Some people may say to themselves, I want a Catholic candidate. Marco Rubio is the only candidate still in the race that is a Catholic. John Kasich grew up a Catholic but then converted to Anglicanism. In everything we do, we need to keep in mind our amazing faith, and that includes voting. Now, you may be saying to yourself, there is no Catholic th candidate that is truly Catholic. As a Catholic, you need to find the candidate that you trust to defend you and has most of the same views as the Catholic Church. This is Javier Jazza with Bulldog Bites TV, signing off. Hi, this is Cherry Chen with Bulldog Bites TV, giving more information about my home country, Taiwan. There are a lot of mountains in Taiwan. Yunshan, also called Mountain Yu, is the highest mountain in Taiwan. The highest point of the Yunshan range is 12,966 feet above sea level. Yushan and the surrounding mountain belong to Yushan Range, which is part of the Yushan National Park. The National Park is Taiwan's largest, highest, and hardest to get to. Yushan is one of the favorite among Taiwanese mountain climbers. International pig beggars often combine a trip to Yushan along with trip to a mountain in Malaysia and Fuji to form an Asian trilogy. Hiking experiment with colorful views, overlapping mountains, and deep valleys. Yushan National Park is well known for its sunrise, sunset, geological features, and views of the clouds from above. Sea of clouds often fill the valley. This is Cherry Tim with Photo Vice TV. See you next time.